There are many fears that tackle the human psyche. Those of nature. Those of Martian. Those of war. And those of betrayal. Emergency warning gadgets are no longer items of luxury. They are now keys to survival in a world where disasters are common. An alternate reality where no one is safe, except for those that observe the events that unfold. That's why you're here. You may see this as some form of horror flick, or as a form of generic entertainment. Either way, they welcome you to tonight's presentation. Sit back, relax, grab refreshments of your choosing, as we bring to you Tales from the Weather Radio. So this seems to be looking good. Wait a minute. Increase magma activity? Let me refresh that, it's probably an error. Oh no. What is this? Yellowstone is most likely to be active in the coming weeks. Oh shit. Why do you remain office? Hey there, my systems are reporting an increase in magmatic activity in Yellowstone, and the auto guess system is also predicting that Yellowstone is most likely to be active in the coming weeks. How confident is the system in its prediction? System prediction percentage is up 78%. Alright, we'll look into it. Okay, thank you. Well, this isn't good. message is transmitted at the request of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory and the United States Geological Survey. Scientists at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory have made an announcement regarding the possibility of the Yellowstone Supervolcano becoming active within a few weeks. Because of the high power of the supervolcano and the possibility of mass destruction should it erupt, all residents within 25 miles of Yellowstone National Park are under voluntary evacuation. This is not a mandatory evacuation. Should the conditions worsen, this voluntary evacuation order will be upgraded to mandatory evacuation. It is advised you stay tuned to any viable news source for further information and updates. Event type is volcanic threat. For all of British Columbia, Alberta, and Saskatchewan, this involves a threat of eruption from both Yellowstone in Wyoming, United States, and Silver Throne in British Columbia. Although the Yellowstone threat primarily targets the United States, it impacts parts of Canada as well. Those in British Columbia should prepare to evacuate when an eruption is imminent. Those outside British Columbia should prepare an emergency shelter along with a survival kit and plan. Continue to monitor local media outlets for further information on this potentially dangerous situation.
All right, so I need to figure out the timing of when an earthquake, if any, is going to happen. I think this is going to take a bit. Oh shit, is it happening now? I'm probably out of time. Oh well, I might as well make the best of it. Wait, it's over. Shit. I need to make a call to main office. I think that earthquake was giving me a quick warning of what is to occur. The following message has been transmitted at the request of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory and the United States Geological Survey. An earthquake has struck near the Yellowstone National Park and has been recorded at a magnitude 8.8 .8 on the Richter scale. This has caused damage to various areas in the park and may have triggered activity within the Yellowstone caldera. Some reports have also stated that the caldera has slowly begun to sink into the ground. However, this cannot be confirmed at this time because of this event, all residents in and within a 75-mile radius of Yellowstone National Park are to seek shelter now. Close and lock all windows and doors, stay away from tall objects that can easily fall over, within a vehicle, activate your hazard rights, and pull to the right. When the earthquakes conclude, disconnect your gas, and extinguish any fires. Be prepared to evacuate when an eruption is imminent. In the interest of public safety, the voluntary evacuation has been extended to now include residents, in and within 125 miles of Yellowstone National Park, consider evacuating. If you do plan on evacuating, bring food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, and a battery-powered radio with you for your journey. So, is it ready to fire? The machine is ready, but the laser isn't. When should it be ready? Based on a day's worth of calculations, I estimate that the laser will be ready to fire on the 25th of this month. Hmm, I guess it takes a while for such a beast to obliterate a galaxy. I don't think it can obliterate a galaxy, but I'm damn sure it can still break a Pluto-sized object in half, like our good old friend, the moon. Perfect. Our plan to rid the world of all moonlight is now in motion. You can only get rid of moonlight if you force a hamster that's rolling a planet to stop rolling. But even then, that only impacts I, one half Professor. Oh, right. This is technology even the most powerful of nations have yet to get a grasp on. All thanks to some special material that we harvested. Speaking of, do we need to use up this material every time we fire the laser? I think so. Not completely sure, though. Well, shit. This may be the only time we get to use it. Don't be pessimistic. We can find a way to sort it out. Let's hope.
The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States Geological Survey. Over 300 earthquakes have been reported within Yellowstone National Park over the past two weeks. The largest earthquake as of now is still measured at 8.8. More earthquakes are expected throughout the next two weeks. If you have not yet evacuated, please do so now. Remember to bring food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, and a battery-powered radio with you for your journey. If you choose to stay, seek shelter in a sturdy location, away from tall objects and windows. If you are in a vehicle, complete your evacuation, regardless of your location, and if you have the essential supplies or not. Supplies can be gathered at areas outside of the evacuation zone when you find a place of refuge. The speed limit is being increased on all roads that lead out of Yellowstone National Park, in order to ensure all evacuations are completed in a quick manner. The Yellowstone supervolcano is continuing to slowly sink into the ground, and so is the threat of eruption. This does not mean that the supervolcano will soon be extinct. Stay tuned to this station for further information and updates. Good morning Dallas, and to those watching us on WFAA Channel 8. We begin our stories with an odd report coming from NASA that has some connection to the volcanic activity occurring in Yellowstone National Park, and at the Silver Throne Caldera Complex in Canada. NASA has said that major seismic activity has been occurring on the moon, and believes that it started during late May of this year. They have assembled an emergency mission crew under the name of Nitro, and will be sending them to investigate the seismic activity somewhere around tomorrow, while the seismic activity is still occurring. One of our correspondents, who goes by the nickname of Cats, is live on the scene. Cats? Thanks, Darren. I am outside of the NASA Kennedy Space Center in Florida's Murray Island, and what you are seeing is a quite hasty deploying of the newly designed Space Shuttle Kingdom, which will be carrying various equipment to the moon, along with the crew of five who have been chosen to take part in the Nitro program. NASA is currently keeping an eye on the activity on the moon, along with the United States Geological Survey keeping close with Yellowstone and Environment Canada onto the Silver Throne Caldera, all of them checking to see if anything new occurs. Oh, and before I give the mic back to you, Darren, all your base are belong to us. <laughs> Thanks again, cats. In other space-related news, stocks on privately owned space companies are slowly beginning to decrease, following NASA's grant from the United States government to be the... Nitro to Kennedy, you said there was some suspicious activity occurring on the moon, correct? Kennedy to Nitro, that is correct. Activity has been occurring at major volcanoes across the planet. Yellowstone in America, Silver Throne in Canada, Lockheed in Iceland, and Toba in Indonesia. Nitro to Kennedy, what does this have to do with the moon? Kennedy to Nitro, all four of these supervolcanoes have been unusually sinking into the ground, consequently beginning to decrease in power, and simultaneously, the moon has been experiencing major seismic activity as recorded by the scales your team brought with you to this mission. That, Kennedy, I look into. Oh shit. Kennedy to Nitro, what the hell is going on out there? Feeling a massive earthquake hitting me out. Nitro, are you alright? I'm alright. I lost my balance. Kennedy to Nitro, stay with us. Run an examination on the moon's surface and see if any changes occurred. Alright, it's stopped. Let's see. Oh my. 
Any new changes? Uh, yeah. It looks like another mountain just formed east to our post. I'll look into it. Copy that. Reminder that you have two days before you and your crew are to begin the return to Earth sequence, so make it quick. This is it. The moment we have all been waiting for. And... Fire. That actually worked. Professor, you know what this means, right? This is an emergency action notification requested by the White House. All EAS participants will follow standard operation procedures in the EAS Operations Handbook for a national level emergency. The President of the United States and his designated representative will shortly deliver a message over the emergency alert system. Stand by.
This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted normal programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air providing news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is WEWS TV. This station will be leaving the air following this alert. You should now tune to a station providing news and information for your area. This station will be ceasing transmission and will not remain on the air. Do not use the telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated.